Hi and welcome to class today. So today we are going to uh, flow through the familiar yoga poses that we have been working with and we're going to do side plank. So you basically turn your plank to the side and you will uh, have only one arm supporting the pose. So um, before we do it, please keep in mind how you externally rotate your arms whenever you hold your body weight with your arms. So that means your biceps and your elbow crease will turn up, turn out. So when you're putting your arms like I'm doing now, you will try to turn your elbow crease and your biceps up. Okay, but I will always remind you about that action. So at first, let's sit on the floor, prepare one block only with you. We will go quite continuously, so I think one block is enough for us today. Sit up straight first, keep your arms on your resting on your thighs and close your eyes. Start turning your attention inside. Take deep inhale and long exhale. Feel how your spine is growing taller every time you inhale. And exhale completely. Slow down with your breath and start turning the attention to the inside. Scan through your body from your head, down through your spine, your shoulders, your chest and your core, your hips and how you are putting your legs on the floor. Let three more breaths pass through. And calm down inside your mind so that you can focus fully on your body's movement. After the next breath, you can slowly open your eyes. Let's start by warming up in your head, in your neck. So turn your head around like a circle, make the circle very big, warming up in your head, warming up in the, the top part of your spine, that is your neck. For one more breath and then the other direction. And then stay at the center. Take your time to open your eyes and inhale, bring your arms over your head. And exhale, let's bring your hands down to the floor. Inhale one more time, bring your arms over your head. Interlace your finger, turn your hands up. Inhale deeply and exhale, leaning to the right side. So keep your left hip on the floor. And try to lean to the right side. When you inhale, come back to the center and exhale, side bend to the left side. Inhale back to the center and exhale a bit further to the right side. 
Inhale, center, and exhale a bit further to the left. Still keep your right hip on the floor. And then inhale, raise your arms up. This time exhale, turn to the right side and stay here for about three breaths. Try to turn your chest up to face the ceiling. Inhale deeply and exhale, lengthening yourself even more toward the right side. Always pressing your left hip on the floor so that both sides of your hips will be pressing down to the floor. And then inhale, come back to the center and exhale three breaths holding in your left side. So inhale deeply and exhale, fold more of your body in the left side and stretch more in the right side as you exhale for one more breath. And then so come back to the center. Bring your arms behind you and then in front of you for three rounds. Try to make the circle very big and move your shoulder up and down too. And then bring your arms over your head again, interlace your finger. Inhale, raise your spine up and exhale. Keep your hips here but turn your chest to the right side, twist. Inhale, back to the center and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, go back to the center and exhale right. And then inhale back to the center and exhale left. Let's inhale, go back to the center and now turn your chest to the right side. Release your hands, right hand behind you, left hand on your knees. Inhale, raise your chest up and exhale, twist. For one more breath, inhale and exhale. Use your arm strength to twist deeper. Inhale, bring your arms up to the ceiling, interlace your finger and exhale, twist to the left side. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale, twist more. And then release your hands, put your right hand on your knee and left hand behind you. Inhale, raise your chest up and exhale, turn your chest more and more to the side for one more breath. And then let's bring your arms over your head and come back to the center as you inhale and exhale, hands in front of you and then behind you. So in front and behind. For one more round, and let's bring your hands down to the floor and into table pose. And in table pose, it's a good chance for us to check your foundation of the pose. So make sure that your hands are flat on the floor and pressing the inside of your wrist down, including the root of your thumbs and your index finger. Turn your biceps and your elbow crease out. And here we are in external rotation. So in the plank and side plank of today, let's do this external rotation in your arms. Inhale, plank pose. And exhale, move your plank forward. Bend your elbows into Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. And make sure that your hands are always the same throughout these poses. Check in with your hands again in down dog and raise your hips up high as you inhale. You can bend your knees slightly. And you can raise your heels up. And once your hip is the highest, let's slowly bring your heels toward the floor. Make your legs really strong. So feel like you want to pull your hip back and up. And then inhale, plank pose again. Chaturanga as you exhale, pressing the inside of your wrist down. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog again. Let's try this one more time. So inhale, plank. This time when you exhale through Chaturanga, let's lay down to the floor. And then inhale, cobra pose. From this cobra, put your right hand at the middle line of the mat. And then turn yourself so that your right leg will be underneath. And your left leg will be on the top. So you look kind of like a calendar girl. And then look at your toes. So make your ankle look like a 90 degree angle by flexing your toes up toward your face. Stack your feet onto each other and see if you can push through your hand. Of course, you are turning your biceps and, and your elbow crease out and lift your hips up. So you can use the other hand on the floor to hold the pose and walk your feet a bit closer so your shoulder will be stacking right on the top of your wrist. And see if you can bring your left hand up inside plank. And then let's change sides. So lay down to the floor again. And now bring your go to cobra pose and bring your left hand at the middle line of your mat. Bring your hand a bit closer so it will be right underneath your shoulder. And turn yourself 
to the right side. So stack your legs on each other again and flex your toes. So now your feet will look like, your ankle will look like a 90 degree angle. If you look at your toes, they are looking back at you. And then let's hold your right fingertips down to the floor. Check in with your left arm and turning your left shoulder out. External rotation. And see if you can lift your hips up. So you can still keep your fingers on the floor or bring your right arm toward the sky. And here, make sure that your wrist is right underneath your shoulder. If you're too far away, there will be too much weight on your wrist. So make sure that you are stacking your shoulder right on the top of your wrist. And then hands down to the floor, bring your knees down. Whew. Let's turn your palms up and squeeze and release with your hand, one hand at a time. And then the other side. So that was side plank. We done the class today. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're going to do other fun variation of side plank and we're going to do go through yoga poses. So the thing in plank is that your legs has to be really strong. So think of if your legs are heavy, your arms will have to hold your whole body weight. But if your legs are so strong, your hips and your legs will be off the floor on their own. So um, it will make your plank and side plank much lighter and even chaturanga too. So let's put your hands on the floor again and go to downward facing dog. We have much more fun to do. Now look at your hands, we're going to jump forward. So I want you to press your hands down to the floor firmly. Bend your knees, you can even touch your feet together and touch your knee. Raise your heels up, look between your hands, we're going to jump toward your hands. Inhale halfway up and exhale forward bend. And we stand up as you inhale, bring your arms over your head and exhale hands in front of your heart. Take a few breaths here and be ready for the sun salutation. And we're going to go, to go through the flow quite um, fast. So notice all the external rotation in your hips and in your arms. I may not be, um, I, I may not catch up and tell you all the time. So first, let's do tree pose, standing on your right, standing on your left leg, and bring your right leg up. Don't use your hand. Try to open your leg out in external rotation and flex your knee as much as you can. So you can bring your heel as high as you can on your leg. Keep your hips the same and open your thigh bone out. Inhale in tree pose and exhale. So tree pose will be the only pose that we hold for three breaths. And one more breath, inhale and exhale. Let's bring your leg down to the floor, chair pose as you inhale and exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up and exhale, forward bend. Step your right leg back, a long step, high lunge as you inhale. And exhale, bring your hands back down to the floor. Put your hands in front of your foot and pick your front foot up and send it back, plank pose, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Check your hands, inhale, up dog or cobra pose. And still mind your hands and your arms. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, touch your right knee to your arm and step your right foot forward. Stand up as you inhale, high lunge. And exhale, bring your hands down to the floor in front of your foot. The other leg will follow, inhale, halfway up. And exhale, forward bend. Chair pose as you inhale and exhale, stand up straight, hands in front of your heart. Take three breaths here in Tadasana, the mountain pose. And calm down a little bit with your breath. And then stand on your right leg and bring your left leg up. So open your left knee out and then try to hold, fold your knee much as much as you can. And from here, arms over your head. Three breath in tree pose. See if you can do the external rotation here. You keep your hip exactly the same, but opening the right, the left thigh bone out. One more breath, inhale. 
and exhale. Let's put your foot down to the floor. Chair pose as you inhale and exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your left foot back, long step. Put your hands on the floor, ready to plank. External rotation, pick your front foot up and set it back in plank. Chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, cobra pose or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, step your left foot forward. High lunge when you inhale. And exhale, hand down toward the floor. Step your back foot forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Chair pose. Inhale. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. Three breaths. In Tadasana. And then we do sun salutation again with more poses. So inhale, chair pose. And exhale, forward bend. <laughs> inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your right foot back, a long step. Inhale, bring your arms over your head, high lunge. And exhale, bring your back heel down to the floor, warrior two. Inhale, and exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, bring your arms over your head, extended side angle. And then inhale, warrior two again. And exhale, reverse warrior. Let's inhale, warrior two again. And then arms over your head, straighten your leg, triangle pose. And then let's bring both hands down to the floor, fix your back leg into kind of pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, forward bend. Put your hands down to the floor. Try not to drag your foot on the floor. Step your front foot back in plank. Move your shoulder forward. Bend your elbow, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, plank pose. Bring your knees down to the floor. Keep your right hand and right knee on the floor. Step your left foot out. Pay attention to your foot. Make sure that you are making a, an L shape with your ankle. And raise your arms up. So think of pushing your hip forward and forward. If you point your butt back, you will get out of balance. And make sure that your hand will be right underneath your shoulder and external rotation in your shoulder. And then change side, bring your hand down to the floor, left knee and left hand on the floor. Put only in the inside of your right foot down to the floor. Hmm. And then let's bring your hand down. Down dog again as you exhale. Inhale, bring your right leg up. And exhale, bend your right knee, step your right foot forward. Inhale, high lunge. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale in warrior two. And exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale in warrior two. And exhale, arms over your head, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two again. Arms over your head, straighten your front legs. Triangle pose. And then bring your hands down to the floor. Take your back, fix your back leg into pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your back foot forward. Inhale, raise your heart up. And exhale, forward bend. Chair pose when you inhale. And exhale, stand up straight, hands in front of your heart. Take deep inhale. And long exhale. So the same flow on the other side. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your left foot back, long step, high lunge as you inhale. And exhale, bring your foot down to the floor, bring your arms out. Inhale in warrior two. And exhale, this time bring your arms over your head, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two, arm to the side. And exhale, arms over your head again, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two again. And exhale, arms over your head, reverse warrior. Try to reach further. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, straighten your front leg, triangle pose. 
And then let's bring your hands down to the floor and fix your back leg position. Pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway up, pulling your right hip back. Exhale, forward bend, face toward your ankle. Put your hands on the floor. Step your front foot back without dragging your foot on the floor in plank pose. Inhale and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Notice your hands, exhale, downward facing dog. And then let's go to plank pose again from down dog as you inhale. Right hand at the middle line of the mat. Point your toes to the left side and make sure that the side of your feet will be touching the floor. External rotation in your standing arm. And turn yourself and see if you can bring your left hand to the ceiling. So make your legs really strong that now your hips is off the floor. And then change side. So put your left hand at the middle line of your mat. Point your toes to the right side and keep your feet on the floor separately and turn externally rotate your left arm point your right hand up to the ceiling and feel how you are pushing your hips away from the floor put your hand back down to the floor and come back to downward facing dog inhale left leg up and exhale step your left foot forward high lunge as you inhale and exhale bring your back foot down to the floor Warrior two, inhale in warrior two, and exhale, arms over your head, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two, and exhale, arms over your head, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two, arms out, and exhale, reverse warrior again. Inhale, warrior two, and straighten your legs, triangle pose, arms over your head. Put your hands down to the floor and change your back leg position, pyramid pose. Inhale halfway up and exhale forward bend. Step your back foot forward. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward bend again. And then chair pose as you inhale. Exhale stand up straight, hands in front of your heart. Stay here for a few breaths. So we have done two rounds of sun salutation. Calm down in your breath, cool down for a while. And now I'm going to have a block nearby so that I can flow through the uh, balancing poses too. Let's start at the front of your mat again with chair pose. Inhale chair pose and exhale forward bend. Inhale halfway up, exhale hands down to the floor. Now let's bend your knees and raise your heels up. You know what we're going to do? We're going to jump into Chaturanga. So let's jump and bend your elbows at the same time. Inhale the back bend and exhale downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up and exhale. Bend your right knee, bring your knee to your face. Inhale, raise your right leg up again and exhale. Bring your right knee to your left arm this time. Put your left foot down to the floor and then bring your left right foot down to the floor too. External rotation in your right arm and bring your left arm up to the sky. Wide leg side plank. Let's bring your hand down to the floor and bring your right leg up to the sky again. Down dog split. Open your hip to the right side, bend your knee. And then step your right foot forward toward your right hand. High lunge as you inhale. And exhale, hands holding at your hips. Start leaning forward and then inhale, take off into warrior three. Take a deep inhale and when you exhale, bend your knees, slowly step back into high lunge again. Raise your arms up, inhale and exhale, left hand in front of you, right hand behind you in the twist. Inhale for one more time here and exhale, twist deeper. Inhale, bring your arms back over your head and exhale, warrior two. Inhale in warrior two and exhale um, and, and exhale half moon pose. Ooh. So make your back leg, your flying leg look like in side plank. Make your ankle like a 90 degree angle and point your toes up toward your knee. Inhale here and exhale, bend your front knee, slowly get back into warrior two. Inhale and exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Put your right hand to the outside of your front foot. So we're going to hold only your fingertips on the left side on the floor. Press through your right hand so much that you can bring your front foot up and send it back into plank pose. 
side plank pose. So here we are. And always externally rotate in your shoulder. Hands down to the floor. Chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Notice your hands, always push them down to the floor. Now let's inhale, bring your left leg up. And exhale, left knee toward your face. Inhale, left leg up. Left knee to your right arm. Put your right foot down to the floor, the side, the inside of your right foot. And then put your left foot down to the floor, but on the outside of your left foot. And then falling triangle or wide leg side plank. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Bring your hand down to the floor. Bring your left foot up and back into down dog split again. Open your hip to the left side, bend your knee. And then bring your left foot forward, step into your left hand. Inhale in high lunge. And exhale, hands holding at your hips. Inhale, and when you exhale, take off and fly into warrior three. Inhale in warrior three. See if you can do external rotation. And exhale, bend your front knee and slowly step back into high lunge. Inhale, and when you exhale, twist right arm in front of you and left arm behind you. Inhale and exhale, twist even more. And then inhale, slowly come back to the center in lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale in warrior two. And exhale, half moon pose. So holding your hand in the block. Bring your back leg up and make your back leg look like side plank. 90 degree in your ankle and your toes are pointing to the side. And flexing all your toes to, toward your face. And then let's bring your foot down to the floor into warrior two again. Inhale and exhale. Bring both hands down to the floor. And now your left hand will be outside of your foot. Hold only your right fingertips down to the floor. Press through your hands so much on the left side that you can bring your front foot up and send it back into side plank pose. Externally rotate in your left arm. Inhale and exhale, hands down to the floor. Chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, cobra up dog. Always pressing the inside of your hands to the floor and go to downward facing dog. Now look at your hands. Bend your knees a lot. Raise your heels up. We're going to step or jump forward. So it's up to you. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, forward bend. Chair pose as you inhale. And exhale, stand up straight. Hands in front of your heart. Close your eyes and calm down inside your body. Hmm. And then let's prepare for the next flow. You can move the block to the side and only use it when you need. Remember the funny tree flow, we're going to do that flow again. So whenever you feel like tree is too hard to, to do, you can do the four, number four, with your ankle on top of your knee, like this. But I'm going to start with tree now. So inhale, tree pose, and exhale, forward bend. Oh, this is hard. Bend your knees a little bit so that you can hold the floor. Inhale, halfway up. You can walk your hands forward or you can jump a little bit back. E. So now you're going to jump into plank pose with tree. Once you are here, let's move your body weight toward the left hand and do tree pose side plank. Oh yeah. And then hand back down to the floor and change side. So now you are doing tree pose side plank on your right hand. And then hand down to the floor, lay down to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog with tree pose. Inhale, bring your right leg up. And then exhale, bend your right knee and opening your hip to the right side. You can walk your hands a bit closer so that you can bring your back foot down to the floor behind you. The wide thing pose. It's a back bend, so raise your chest up and raise your hips up high. Inhale here and exhale, right hand down to the floor. Inhale, right leg up. And exhale, bend your right knee and put your right foot through underneath your left arm, but don't put your foot on the floor. See if you can raise your left hand up. Inhale, one leg side plank. And exhale, put your hand down to the floor. Step your right foot forward. Whew. Inhale, high lunge. 
and exhale warrior three so hands holding at your hips inhale start leaning forward and exhale taking off in warrior three this time you can bring your arms out or over your head inhale in warrior three and exhale high lunge again inhale in lunge exhale twisted lunge left arm in front of you and right arm behind you inhale deeply and exhale bring your back hand running along your back leg back bend and twisting at the same time inhale bring your arms out and exhale warrior two so flowing inhale in warrior two and exhale reverse warrior inhale in warrior two and exhale half moon pose hmm. again and now let's see if you can get your hands off the block in half moon holding your hands in front of your heart turning yourself into warrior three and then change arm so your left hand will be holding the block and your right arm opening up into twisted half moon inhale here and exhale put your foot down to the floor and stand up bring your arms over your head and exhale Ooh. arms along your body or hands in front of your heart take some small break here before we do the tree flow on the other side so let's move the block away first right and I suggest we have a space in front of us so that your hands can be quite far away from your feet so tree pose putting your left foot inside your right leg bring your arms up inhale and exhale forward bend so here you can do the number four with your ankle on top of your knee or you can just bend your knee put your hands down to the floor and start jumping back with your foot and go to plank pose in tree pose keep your right hand on the floor and opening yourself to the left side into side plank tree pose inhale here external rotation and exhale change arm so keep your leg the same shape we're going to change into the other tree pose side plank Whew. and then hands down to the floor plank pose bring your knees and your hips down to the floor lay down to the floor inhale cobra pose in tree pose shape and exhale tuck your toes downward facing dog now jump your feet foot a bit closer so that you will be stable in down dog split lift your left leg up inhale and exhale and opening your hip to the left side and you can bend your knee so that you can step your left foot behind you the wide thing opening your chest and your hips up inhale and exhale put your hand back down to the floor raise your leg up again left leg up inhale here and exhale left knee going through underneath your right arm put your right foot down to the floor and lift your left leg straight in front of you one leg side plank and then hand down to the floor step your foot forward Ooh. high lunge as you inhale <sighs> and exhale warrior three so holding your hands at your hips be ready leaning forward and then take off in warrior three we will not stay here for long but you can find other arm variation that you like one inhale and when you exhale bend your front knee and slowly step back high lunge inhale in lunge exhale twisted lunge right arm in front of you and left arm behind you inhale here and exhale twisted and back bend so your back hand will be running along your back leg and then inhale in twist lunge and exhale change the side that you are facing into warrior two inhale in warrior two and exhale reverse warrior inhale warrior two and exhale half moon so we can find the block again or you can just hold your fingertips down to the floor make your back leg look exactly like in uh, side plank and then let's release your hands from the block and put your hands in front of your heart in a prayer sign turn your hips and your whole body down into warrior three and then change arms so now your right arm will be down toward the floor your left arm turning up into twisted half moon take a deep inhale and then slowly come back step your foot down to the floor inhale raise your arms up and stand up straight and exhale hands in front of your heart take some deep breath here inhale and exhale
So once you're done with resting, we will continue flowing. Let's move the block to the side so you have more space and maybe step back a little bit. Inhale, chair pose and exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your right foot back, a long step. High lunge as you inhale. Exhale, right hand to the floor and left hand up to the ceiling. Now we're going to turn your left now I'm going to turn your right foot down to the floor and point your toes, right toe to the left side and walk your left foot a little bit. So now you're in a side plank with one leg on the floor. Let's inhale here and exhale, sink your hip low. Inhale, raise your hips up and exhale, hip low. Two more times, exhale, inhale, hips up and arms over your head. And exhale, hip low. And one last time, bring your arms over your head. Now let's see if you can bring your hands down to the floor and step and push your hands to the floor so much that you can bring your right left foot and uh, put it on the top of your right foot, side plank. Ooh. Flex your toes up in side plank and do external rotation, pressing the inside of your right wrist on the floor. Hee. And then hand down to the floor, chaturanga, <sighs> inhale, cobra pose, up dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Oh, now let's inhale, bring your right leg up and exhale, open your hip, the wide thing, put your foot down to the floor, inhale, raise your hips and your chest up and exhale, you can bring your right hand down to the floor again. Side plank on the left side, prepare your left leg first and then stack your right foot on top of your left leg, side plank and notice your arm external rotation. See if you can lift your top leg up and bend your knee, holding your knee to the side of your body as if you do tree pose, and then bring your arm over your head. We're going to put your foot on the front of your mat. So really slowly, step your foot there. Awesome. Right hand down to the floor, opening yourself into extended side angle pose as you inhale and exhale, hands down to the floor. Step your back foot forward, inhale, halfway up, and exhale, forward bend. Chair pose, inhale, and exhale, stand up straight, hands in front of your heart. We're going to do the same with the other side. So when you are ready, chair pose, inhale, and exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your left foot back, a long step. Put your left and inhale, high lunge pose. Exhale, left hand down to the floor on the same level as your front foot and right arm up to the ceiling. Now we're going to put the outside of your left foot down to the floor and bring your right foot a bit to the middle way between your hand and your foot. We're going to sink your hip low and lift your hips up for three times. So when you exhale, bring your hip lower and then inhale, hip up, arms over your head. Exhale, hip lower and inhale, hips up, arms over your head. And one more time, hip low and then hip up high, arms over your head. Now see if you can rely on your left arm and put your right foot on top of your left leg, side plank on the left side, opening your biceps and your elbow crease out. And then hand down to the floor, plank pose, chaturanga, inhale, cobra pose, and exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. Stay for a while and down dog before we lift your left leg up. So when you are ready, left leg up as you inhale, opening your hip to the left side, put your foot down to the floor, wide thing. Turning your chest and your belly up to the ceiling, inhale, and exhale, left hand back to the floor again. So now holding the floor only with your left fingertips, we're going to do side plank on your right side, stacking your legs on each other. Inhale here, and then lift your top leg up, bend your knee, we're going to put your foot on the floor on the same level as your hand. Here you are. Put your left hand down to the floor inside your left foot, and then bring your other foot down to the floor and open yourself into side angle pose. Bring your hand down to the floor, step your back foot forward. Inhale halfway up and exhale forward bend. Let's stand up as you inhale. 
arms over your head and exhale hands in front of your heart if your arms are shaking shaking movement and relax so eventually we're going to put together all the things that we have been doing today into a long and quite fun flow. You're going to move continuously between each arm into side plank. So be ready for that and always pay attention to your hands. Press them all to the floor, including the root of your thumb and your index finger and the, the heel of your palm. So let's start at the front of your mat. Tree pose with your standing on your left leg. Bring your right leg up. Inhale, bring your arms up in tree. And exhale, step your foot down to the floor chair pose. Inhale in chair and exhale forward bend. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward bend. Step your right foot back, long step. Inhale high lunge. And then right hand down to the floor as you exhale, left hand up to the sky. Turn your body to the left side into side plank with one foot on the floor. You can flex your toes up on both feet. Inhale here and exhale, sink your hip low. Inhale, bring your arms up higher and then step your left foot on the top of your right foot into side plank. And now we're going to bring, change sides, so bring your hand down to the floor plank. Chaturanga as you exhale and inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up as you inhale and exhale, wide thing. Put your right foot behind you on the floor, turn your chest up. Inhale here and exhale, hand down to the floor again, side plank on your left side, bring your right arm up. Now let's bring your top leg up, bring your knee very close to your arms and see if you can step your foot slowly to the front of your mat. Put your right hand down to the floor and open yourself to the side. So uh, side angle, extended side angle pose. Now push your hand very much to the floor and maybe you can pick your front foot up and put your front foot inside your back thigh. Tree pose side plank in this way. Hand down to the floor, tree pose plank and then hip down to the floor. Lay down to the floor, inhale cobra pose and exhale downward facing dog with the tree. Inhale right leg up and exhale right foot forward. Inhale high lunge. And exhale, twisted lunge. <sighs> Inhale and twisted lunge. And exhale, back bend in twisted lunge. Inhale, twisted lunge. And exhale, swing your arms and go to warrior two. Inhale in warrior two. And exhale, half moon pose. So maybe this time you don't even need to block anymore. And once you're in half moon, let's hold your hands in front of your heart. Warrior three, slowly turn back and then change your arm into a twisted half moon. So now left arm down and right arm up. And then step your foot forward and slowly stand up in chair pose as you inhale and exhale, stand up and hands in front of your heart. <sighs> Close your eyes. And take deep breath. You're moving a lot. So this kind of continuous flow is quite funky and very fun. We don't stay for too long in each pose. So what we train here is a smooth movement. When you have to move your body weight from arm to arm, from legs to arm. And then we will try the other side. Stand on your right leg and put your left leg up in tree pose. Inhale, bring your arms over your head and exhale. Slowly release your leg. Step your foot down to the floor. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your left foot back, a long step. High lunge as you inhale. Inhale and high lunge and exhale. Right hand, left hand down to the floor. Right hand up to the ceiling. Let's go, let's turn yourself to the right side into this funky uh, side plank pose. Inhale and exhale, sink your hip low. Inhale, raise your hips up high, and then stand only on your left hand into full side plank. Vasisthasana. Hand down to the floor, plank pose. Chaturanga when you exhale. 
inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog let's inhale bring your left leg up and then put your left foot behind you on the floor into the wide thing inhale raise your chest up and belly up and exhale left hand down to the floor so full side plank on the right side yes and this time let's lift your leg up left foot on the top of your mat on the same level with your hand change hand now your left hand will be on the floor and yourself will be open to the right side into uh, extended side angle pose now push into your hand so much that you can bring your front foot up drag it back and put your front foot inside your back thigh into tree pose hand down to the floor in tree and let's lay down to the floor hmm. inhale cobra pose in tree and exhale downward facing dog in tree walk a bit closer lift your left leg up this time inhale and exhale step your left foot forward high lunge as you inhale and exhale right hand in front of you left hand behind you and twisted lunge inhale and twisted lunge and exhale um, reverse twisted lunge so with the back bend inhale twisted lunge and exhale swing your arms into warrior two inhale in warrior two inhale reverse warrior and exhale half moon pose so you don't need to hold the block now but if you I'm not using the block now, but if you need to, you can use it. Once you're in half moon, hands in front of your heart. Slowly turn your hips and your chest to face the floor into warrior three. And then change arm. So now your right arm will be pointing to the floor and your left arm will be pointing up to the sky. Twisted half moon. And then step your foot down to the floor. Chair pose as you inhale. And exhale, stand up straight. Take some time to calm down here. So now that you are done with it, let's slowly sit down to the floor. Oh, eventually. Keep your legs in front of you. Take a deep inhale and exhale forward bend. Let's stay here in the forward bend for about five breaths pulling with your arms so whatever you can hold on your legs pull it closer to you and bring your head closer and closer toward your ankles and then let's slowly get out of this pose Pashimottanasana and bend your right knee. Put your right foot on the outside of your left knee. Use your left arm to hug your right leg in and twist toward the right side. So inhale, raise your chest up and exhale. Turn your whole chest and belly to the right side. You can turn your face so that your chin will be on the top of your back shoulder. Take deep inhale and exhale. And then turn your face the other way. So now put your chin to your front shoulder. So you're stretching your neck on both sides too. And then slowly get out of this pose and change side. Bend your left foot, bend your left knee and put your left foot outside of your right knee. Hold your leg with your right arm and turn toward the left side. Inhale, raise your chest up and exhale, twist more. Bring your chin to the back shoulder and feel the stretch happening on the right side and then bring your chin to your front shoulder and stretch the other side of your neck and then let's slowly get out of this pose and lay down to the floor hmm. open your arms out and turn your legs from side to side for several times eventually both of your knees will be resting on the right side and you will turn your face to the left side stay here
And then let's bring your legs back to the center and change your leg to the left side while you turn your face to the right side. Then back to the center. Now keep your feet on the floor and raising, keeping your knees as wide as your hips. We're going to do bridge pose. So you will lift your hips up and move your arms right underneath your chest. You can interlace your finger and press your arms down toward the floor while you raise your chest up higher and higher. Think of how you want to bring your chest toward your chin and lift your hips up very high. So inhale. And then exhale for one more breath. Try not to open your knees out, keep them hugging in. And then let's lay down to the floor. You can give yourself a hug for one more time before you go to Savasana. So you can turn your legs around like in a circle, this way and the other way. And eventually straighten your legs on the floor in Savasana. And turn your palms to face up. Now that your body is softened and uh, relaxed, more relaxed and cool down, let's create more space for your body by moving the joints away from each other. Next time you exhale, loosen your whole body and let everything melt down to the floor. Let your body rest here and feel how your heart is calming down. So we have been moving continuously between yoga poses and it's some kind of a little bit of cardio exercise for your body. And it requires a lot of concentration to follow the flow too. So you did a great job today. You can be proud of yourself. And let yourself calm down for now. Feel how all the muscles on your body is, are melting down, softening, and you don't have to press or push into the floor to hold your body anymore. Your body is now fully supported by the ground. Bring your awareness toward your wrist, your shoulders and your hands. All these muscles and bones here today have been a lot underneath, under a lot of pressure.
Maybe you feel like your wrists are so weak, but actually they are pretty strong. They are supported by all the big muscles on your upper body. So as you practice more and more, you will be stronger in the core, in the back, and in the arms to support your shoulders in these kind of poses. Continue resting here in Savasana, but I'm going to get out of this pose and finish the class. You can take as much time as you want. Spend this time in Savasana to pamper your body. Appreciate your body and review progress. Always send care and love through all over your body. And I will finish the class now. We definitely will do side plank again. So thank you very much. Namaste.